what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and this video is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because i signed myself now we got to talk about the damage of leaks because there's a lot of information out there about leaks or a lot of opinions that people have when song leaks happens and i know there's some general thoughts of how does a song leak happen but really there's a darker side that most people don't understand and the really, truly negative impact that has on artists and some of the other people on the back end and why some people are doing it on purpose. Because there's a few different sides to look at this from. First, we got the fans' perspective. Second, we got the marketers' perspective. Third, we got the artist's perspective and also the songwriter's perspective, which is fourth, right? They can be separate. They could be different. Now, this is what people have to realize. Fans are not educated on how this business works and I don't blame them, right? They don't get paid to understand, right? There's the people who say they got careers or they want careers in music that don't understand the music business. So you can't expect fans to do that or even take the time to because they're in the music thing for entertainment. But this is where a lot of conflict happens because when fans have leaks, they're like, yo, I'm just glad to hear their music again. But then you also have the marketer's perspective, which oftentimes kind of can end up similar to the fans' perspective, but it's two ways a lot of marketers look at it. And when I say marketers, this could be the marketers on their team or people coordinating it. One, you got the negative side. That's Yo, man, we've been planning this thing. We had all these things we wanted to do and ways to package it. Yet, however, this thing has been ruined because the daggone thing done leak. Like, that's it. Like, I can't do it how I want it to. But then secondly, we also have the perspective of, okay, yes, this did happen. But since it did happen, let's go ahead and capitalize off this thing. If people are starting to like it and they're showing good feedback, let's be agile and make the most out of the situation. It's a sunk cost that already happened. Let's get it. Let's go. But this is when we get into the trickier situations because even with that in mind, because that does sound good, right? Well, it, is, it did happen already. Why don't they just maximize the fact that it happened and leverage things? It's easy to say, but it's harder to do. And this is when we get into the artist's perspective and the songwriter's perspective. And this is when we start to also get to that darker side. So first, let's just talk about this, right? How does a lot of these leaks happen? Well, one, Artists send their music out early a lot of times to the media, journalists and all that type of stuff so they can write articles and have it up on, you know, release dates and get it up really quickly afterwards. And sometimes, you know, these artists, they, they just ain't right. Right. Not these artists, these journalists, they'll just they'll leak it because they'll be like, ah, no big deal or whatever. They might have something to get somebody or, you know, they think they're cool. So they're going to let their friends hear it early and then the friends somehow get a hold of it and, and leak it themselves. Then you got artists who have like just so many people that are touching their stuff right on, on so many teams and then those people i might be a producer or a producer's assistant somehow and then i got the stuff leaked because it leaked through me you have the p and d route which is you know pressing cds and being in the factory a cd fall off the truck fall off the line and people find it that way there's so many different ways that music gets leaked but none of those ways really get into the darker intent that some people have when it comes from a business aspect of how leaks impact artists and songwriters so let's check out this let's look at this songwriter's perspective right songwriters get paid to write songs right um you know sometimes they have part of the back end or oftentimes they do right but they also have fees that they get up front and look y'all might not know this but we say artists are cheap on the come up but so many of these artists and their teams that have huge budgets or just are larger and y'all would think they wouldn't be cheap are cheap in their own way, just as cheap. As a matter of fact, bigger numbers, but still cheap considering what they have. So uh, artists might have to pay 30K, 50K for a song. And eh, definitely probably not 50K these, these days, but 30K, 15K for a song, right? Now, when a song leaks, it actually loses its value just in this business industry side of things, right? Of course, it can still go on, be monetized, especially the way streaming works and the way the industry is and all that stuff. It, it still can be monetized, but just for a variety of reasons and ways that people can look at stuff, it can lose its value, right? So I might be a manager. I might have, I'm somebody with some pool, a power that be working with this artist, with a songwriter. This songwriter says this is how much it costs and it could be a pretty standard fee, but you'll have situations where somebody 
gets the music on that team that you're trying to sell it to. That's not uncommon at all, by the way, right? The artists get the song, they record the song, and then they handle a lot of the business after the fact in a lot of those situations. But they can have somebody on their team leak the song. Because you're like, you could be like, uh, you know, yeah, 30K, now nah, let me get this for 20K, or let me get this for 5K. Because they could be like, uh, 30K, I'm not really trying to pay that. But of course, the songwriters are not gonna move on their value. And then they leak a song, right? They leak the song, and then hit the songwriter back and say, yo, I mean, this thing is leaked. Am I going I don't want to know about paying that exactly. I mean, I'll give you 5k because it's already out there. I mean, you know, it's already out there. We're on the track already, but we can't really do it like we want to 5k, right? And, and they will leak it. And of course, they'll pretend that like they didn't leak it themselves, right? That's a very real situation when you understand how these songs get value on the back end, how you're able to flip them for other things that are set up, even hitting certain numbers. Right, because from an artist's perspective, that's number four, right? These artists have these milestones that they gotta hit, right? Or they're planning to hit. And that could be a part of that situation. And when you don't roll certain things out like you think or want to, that can hinder that situation. It's not just, oh, I'm an artist and I have this whole way that I wanted you to experience it and, it, and it's so perfect when it's experienced this way and now you got it in a piece that came before the other piece that I intended you to have first, no. It's not all just that. It sounds great, you know, artsy fartsy. That's kind of one of the things some people will just leave out there as not to address some of this back end stuff that's going on a lot of times with these leaks. Because real people are losing money. Real people are not eating a lot of times due to these leaks situations. Because we gotta remember, this is a business, music business. Fans, oh, I just wanna consume music. But the people on the other side, why it can get tricky, it's like, yo, I mean, I got a, I got a job. I don't hit these numbers. I don't eat or I don't hit these numbers, I might get fired, which again, oftentimes results in not eating, right? You got a team, you got people to pay. So from an artist standpoint, it can be so damaging that a lot of times you will see people just wipe their hands clean of it and keep moving. Or maybe if they found out, yo, this person who did these drums was the one who leaked it, I'm gonna take their drums off, right? Or, or and figure out how to you know do this situation a different way, or it just severely might delay the project. We can even look at the Kanye, uh, what was it, Yandi? Yandi was leaked, which is crazy, right? Like it, it was leaked for a long time and stayed online for a long time. By the time I stumbled across Yandi online, it had already been online for like two months, it seems like, and I had no idea that it was even leaked at the time. So it, it is weird how little traction that got, but that's an aside. These leaks are not as unintentional as so many of them might seem. A lot of times, it's power plays in the background with leverage here and there that people are playing around with. And that's something that you have to keep in mind as an artist, as you get to that part of game, but even more so as a songwriter, right? You, you can't be completely loose with your stuff. Of course, there's things like watermarks and things like that that people do, but that doesn't work as easily or even make as much sense when we come talk about songwriters and certain types of production and all that stuff. So keep that in mind. Those are just a few things to consider and just more perspective to understand that there are those four sides of it. The fans, you know, the marketers, and then you got the artists, but you, oftentimes those marketers are on the artist team so they could be feeling some of that same pain. And then the songwriters. And then of course, you know, songwriters and artists can be the same people at times too. It could be extremely damaging, beneficial for some of those other folks who are paying the money and like, yo, now I lost market value or try to push that. People do play hardball. It's a lot going on in the background and that in its own way and fashion. But just some information. As always, this video is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com. Go ahead and check us out. Link in the description below. If you got time, if you're an artist and looking to level up, other than that, hey, if you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.